Hey, what's up, guys? This is Lydia Alverson here, back with another video. Um, and as promised, I said I would do Macintosh demonstrations today, and here we are. So, a few weeks ago, I got the new 2018 MacBook Air right here. And I hope you guys can see that. I'm sorry, guys. And so far, I... I I think I'm hooked a lot more to my computer than my phone. So for those for those of you guys that are probably curious, sighted users, how do I use the Mac as someone who's blind or visually impaired? Well, that's what this demonstration is about today. Now, for those of you guys that are interested in learning the Mac, and for those of you guys that would love to get a Mac, those who are visually impaired, um, it is a bit of a learning curve. But I found plenty of resources online that explain how voiceover works on the Mac. And for those of you guys that are not sure what voiceover is, I'll go ahead and briefly tell you, or give you an explanation. Voiceover is basically a screen reader that is designed by Apple. Now, vo voiceover didn't come on the Mac until, I believe it was OS 10.4 Tiger and didn't come on iOS until the iPhone 3GS in, I believe it was iOS 4. Um, for those of you guys that are interested um, in how I use voiceover with iOS, I do have a video on that. I'll, if I remember, if I remember to do this, I will put it in the description. And I also did a video on how I use a laptop with Windows 7, and I'll make sure to put that link in the description as well. But without further ado, let's get started with the demonstration. Now, I do want to let you all know you're probably not going to see very much because I'm going to have the camera sitting next to my computer. I actually have, I'm using my phone to record these videos, by the way. So you, you're probably not going to see much, but I'll try to show you um, as much as I can. So... Let's get started. All right, so I have my phone sitting next to my computer because I'm going to need both hands to do this, just like I did with my the laptop demonstration, my Windows laptop demonstration video. And like I said, I'll be sure to put this in the I'll put the link in the description. So, what's cool with the newer Macs is, and this all started with the 2016 MacBook Pro. Instead of having to hit the power button to turn on your Mac, you now have to just raise the lid. And within a minute, you'll be, boot you'll be showing the login screen to enter your password. And what's cool with the, Mac the new MacBook Air is it's got Touch ID. No, there is no touch bar on this Mac. As much as I would love the MacBook Pro touch bar, but it's okay. I mean, it's not quite the MacBook Pro. I wanted the MacBook Pro, but hey, this is good too. So anyway, I know I'm rambling. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the computer and we'll get started with the demonstration. And now I have the... Uh, as you can see, I have the lid raised, and it should be booting up here in a few minutes. Login window application. Login window. Users scroll area has keyboard focus. You are currently on a scroll area. To okay, sorry about that. I didn't want you to hear all that. So this is sort of like you know when you log into your to. When I log into my Windows PC, of course, it's going to ask me for my password and stuff. But first things first, there's one more thing you got to do first. There is a Touch ID sensor. Right. Oh, man. I, sorry, I am not the best at taking pictures, so. About right there. Yeah, it looks about right. So it's... Sorry, guys. I'm going to do what... I'm just going to give it the best when it comes to visuals here. So, for sighted users... But if, for those of you guys that can't see it, 
the touch ID, the touch ID sensor is all the way to the right of the function keys. And on a Mac with touch bar, I believe it's on the far right of the control strip. So now to unlock my Mac, obviously I'm in the um, list of users and, and obviously I'm the only one using the computer. So all I need to do now is log in with my fingerprint. Enter password, secure edit text. And I just unlocked my Mac with my fingerprint and I hit the control key to stop speech. So now all I need to do is enter my password right now. And we should be logging in. Hey there, Agent Macintosh. It's great to see you again. Finder, Macintosh HD, window, list view, table, no selection. And there I am. I'm actually in Finder now. So this is- You are is... currently on a table inside of a- Sorry, I didn't, sorry, voiceover. Um, so now I'm currently in Finder. Now to navigate with a voiceover, and I'm just gonna briefly tell you how I navigate. Um, because there's so much, there's so much in here. Um, actually, one second. Let me double check something real quick. Trackpad commander on. Screen curtain on. Screen curtain off. Trackpad Apple menu 10 items. Whoops. Closing menu. iCloud. Row 8 of 21 cell. Sorry, this thing is so sensitive. Trackpad commander off. Trackpad commander off. Trackpad commander on. Trackpad commander off. Sorry, guys, I had to double check something. Anyway, um, so I had to double check my uh, screen curtain. I forgot that the trackpad on the Mac is pretty sensitive. And it's, by the way, located right in front of the spacebar, in case you're curious. For sighted users, there you go. So, I can simply use my VO keys, which are my modifier keys, in this case, control and option, followed by my arrow keys to navigate the screen, which I'm gonna do now. iCloud Drive, locations, remote disk, level two. And respectively, I can VO left, or control hit control option, followed by my left arrow keys together. Locations, iCloud Drive, iCloud, downloads, Documents, desktop, applications, recent, applications. And there you have it. I can just, I'm, what I'm really kind of doing is just navigating the window. You are currently on a cell two items. And actually right now I'm in a table. So to interact with, usually with a table, a list, or a slider, you know, to adjust, for example, maybe the speaking rate of uh, your speech, um, your system voice in the system preferences application, which I'll probably demonstrate later. Um, let me go ahead and stop interacting. Now, to stop interacting with with this table, I can basically, I can swipe left with two fingers on the trackpad, or... It's 7.30. Um, that's my announce the time feature, and I'll show you how to do that um, in another video. Anyway, to stop interacting, all I have to do is hit Control Option Shift Up Arrow, or for for uh, experience Mac users, VO Shift Up Arrow. Out of sidebar table. And by the way, when I say word VO throughout this video, that means those are my my modifier my voiceover keys. So those are the modifi modifier keys that are strictly for the voiceover screen reader itself. Oh, and by the way, before I forget. What if you want to shut this thing off and you need sighted assistance for something? Well, let me show you how that works. On a Mac with touch bar, you hold the command key down and hit the touch ID button three times. Sort of similar to triple clicking the home button on older iPhones or triple clicking the side button with the iPhone 10 and later. But on this particular Mac, or for those that don't have a touch bar, all you can do is hit Command F5. 
Voice over off. And that turns voice over off. And this is a toggle, by the way. So if I hit it again. Voice over on finder. Applications. Window. List view. Table. No selection. And that turns voice over back on. You are currently on a table inside of... There's a lot more to navigation. This is, this is definitely a little bit more difficult than, say, maybe learning the JAWS screen reader, which I think, as a kid, I think I found a little bit harder. But I think learning the Mac, for me, was pretty easy. But all I think mainly because I did my homework ahead of time and looked at some online resources. And to end off this video, I'm just going to go ahead and... Just tell you a little bit more, a little bit about the uh, the keyboard. So the keyboard, sorry guys, I, like I said, I'm not the best at taking any videos, so I'm gonna just give you a physical description just in case. So the keyboard is a butterfly, it's the butterfly, the new butterfly mechanism. So this thing is pretty incredible. So it's pretty quiet. Um, it's not as clicky sounding like my Windows laptop. And by the way, this thing is this thing is pretty light too. The the unit it's the com this computer itself is pretty light. It almost makes my uh, laptop feel like a brick. So there you all have it. That's the keyboard there. So if you guys have any questions, I mean I'm doing what I'm sorry guys. These are I mean it's not the best. Um. Uh, demonstration out there and by the way so to inter by the way when it comes to interacting with uh, a table it's a VO shift down arrow to start interacting and VO shift up arrow to stop interacting and in, in case again if you guys are still kind of confused when I say the word VO followed by a specific key that means th I'm using my control and option keys and those are strictly for voiceover the voiceover screen reader itself So, like I said, if you guys have any questions, and if you guys need me to demonstrate how I use certain applications, I'm still kind of getting used to uh, my Mac, so if you guys are interested in how I use certain applications, like, oh, I don't know, um, Safari, which I kind of was experimenting with yesterday, and I still am, um, I can do that for you guys if you would like me to demonstrate... Um, System preferences. Um, we can go over system preferences if you're interested. Um, but uh, yeah, other than that, that's about it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this uh, basic demonstration. With that being said, this is Lydia Alverson signing off. Thank you all for watching.